My mother, long, long ago, in a forest, lived an elephant. He was big and strong, and his skin was as white as milk. The white elephant loved his mother more than anything else in the world, more than himself, more than the sweet wild berries and fruits on the trees in the forest, more than the juicy tubers hidden in the ground. The white elephant's mother was blind. He took good care of her. He found a nice cool cave for her. In front of the cave was a lake full of clear, shining water and lotuses. Water always makes an elephant's heart glad. The white elephant would first feed his mother. Only then would he eat. Whenever he could, he would tell her stories and tell her how the forest looked in the hot summer and during the monsoon when it poured. He would speak to her of the hills, squirrels, birds and butterflies with beautiful wings. He would also tell her about flowers, big and small, and of many colors. The days passed. The rains came on time. The long grass blew in the wind. Monkeys chattered on the trees, and their children and their children's children swung from branch to branch. The white elephant grew older and stronger. Yes, stronger, but gentler and wiser too. Now, one day it so happened that a man who had come from the city of Benares, now Varanasi, lost his way in the forest. He sobbed and beat his head, crying, Oh, it is all over for me. I will never be able to get out of this forest. Someone save me. Save me, please. The white elephant saw the man. Poor man, he said to himself. Why does he weep? I must help him. The elephant walked towards the man, but he ran away in fear. The elephant followed him and in his gentle voice said, Friend, don't be afraid. I wish to help you. Tell me, why do you weep? I have lost my way. I want to go home. The elephant knelt down and said, Climb onto my back. I will carry you safely out of the forest and put you on a path that will take you home. So, thanks to the elephant, the man reached his home in Banaras. Back in Banaras, he heard the king's men announcing loudly in the streets, Listen, listen, the king's elephant is dead. The royal elephant is no more. The king wishes to have a new state elephant. Anyone willing to help the king find a suitable royal elephant and get a rich reward? Aha, said the man. Now is my chance to get rich. He went to the king and said, My lord, I have seen a wonderful elephant in the forest. That elephant is big, handsome and fit for a king. His skin is spotless white. Send some of your elephant trainers and soldiers with me. We will catch the elephant and bring him to you. Take whoever you need, the king said. I shall be glad to have such an elephant at my palace. So the man set out for the forest along with many elephant trainers and soldiers. In the forest, the great white elephant was standing in front of his cave in the cool water of the lake amidst many lotuses. The tip of his tusks shone in the sun. The man went up to the elephant, caught him by the trunk and said, You must come with me. If you do not, these elephant trainers and soldiers will drag you to Benares. The elephant stood quietly. He knew he was stronger than the man, stronger than all the king's elephant trainers, stronger than all the king's soldiers. He knew that if he wanted to, he could kill anyone who came to catch him. I do not wish to harm anyone, said the elephant to himself, and stood with his head low. So the man to whom he had done a good turn caught him and along with the elephant trainers and soldiers took him to the city of Banaras. Alone and sad in her cave, the blind mother elephant tossed her head unhappily. Many days have passed. Where is my son? What could have happened to him? He is so big and handsome. I hope he has not been caught by men. Oh, my 
my son is not by my side to tell me about the trees, plants, grass, and the coming rain. Now, indeed, I am blind, for my son was my pair of eyes. An elephant trainer had run ahead, and on reaching the king's palace, he said excitedly to the king, A beautiful white elephant is coming. The most beautiful elephant in the world is coming. The king got up from his throne and called to his servants, Decorate the city. Call the musicians, the conch blowers, and the dancers, the people of the city and the little children. Make a big wide stall for the elephant near the palace. Make it of multicolored cloth. Decorate the bamboo poles with silk, flags, and garlands of flowers, for my new royal elephant gets the best rice in the city. After seven days, the great white elephant arrived in Benares. People of the city remarked, How splendid! See how grandly he walks, how grandly he waves his ears, how his body shines, how noble he looks. The elephant was taken to his special stall, while music played, laughter and happy voices filled the air. The king then offered him a golden bowl filled with cooked rice. Eat, he said. Eat, please. The elephant did not move. He stood straight and still. Without feeding my mother, I do not eat, he said. Eat at least one morsel for my sake, great elephant, said the king. No, said the elephant. Without my mother, I eat nothing. My mother is blind. She must be pining for me, lying at the mouth of the cave. I can see her, sad and forlorn beating her foot against the roots of a tree. The king stood silent for a moment. Then, turning to his elephant trainers and soldiers, he said, Take the elephant back to the forest. Take him to his mother. The nobles and people gathered there, clapped and shouted with joy. So, the white elephant returned to the forest. As he came to the lotus lake near their cave, he drew some cool water in his silvery trunk. And when he saw his blind mother lying down on the floor of the cave, he sprayed the water on her body. She immediately stood up. What gentle rain blows into this cave, she said. Has my son come back? I am back, answered the white elephant. The king has set me free. The blind mother was overjoyed to hear her son's voice. May that king live long, she said. The white elephant fed his mother with wild fruits and berries. Only then did he eat. The days passed in peace and happiness. In Benares, the king often thought of the great white elephant and his blind mother in the forest. I wish I could stay near that wonderful white elephant and his mother, he said. One day, the king built a city for himself near the lake of lotuses in the forest. Then every day he would spend some time with the white elephant and his blind mother, bringing them fruits, roots and flowers.